What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get shaders just like mine in a few simple steps. But let's get straight into it. So there will be three downloads linked in the description where you will need to set this up. The first thing we are going to need is the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Just download that onto your desktop just like I did there. And then click here, hold, download zip. And then do the same thing here code download zip okay now that we have done that we can just drag it to the middle of our desktop right here so we just right click on them WinRAW, or you can use 7 zip as well either will work it's all just down to preference to be honest then we do the same on the other two extract two and then extract two now that we have done this we can open up the nvidia profile inspector first it's gonna ask for an admin prompt just click yes and then scroll down to other okay we are now on other it should look like this for you right now where it says disallowed just change that to allowed then click apply changes we're now done with the video profile inspector now we open up this just go in here and then go into the shaders folder Control a Control c but you can just select it like this and copy and then we open up the reshade folder go into the shaders and textures and just paste and then control a control c again all the same way as before i prefer doing control a control c because it's a lot more faster and convenient okay now we are going to go into our local disk drive program files and the nvidia corporation uh, this is how it should look for you right now so we're just going to create a new folder and call it anzul a n s e l and then we're just going to paste everything we just copied into here. Once you have done that, we are going to close out this file. Then we're going to search a Roblox player on here. Right click on it. Open file location. Open file location again. Okay, and it should look like this for you right now. So you're going to look for Roblox player beta. And you can either press F2 on your keyboard to rename it. Or you can right click and... Uh, rename it here it may look different for you if you are still on windows 10 keep in mind this only works on the video graphics cards before you start complaining in the comments about it not working for you like amd graphics card or intel graphics card that's why it only works for the video okay now i'm done with ranting about how it only works with the video we can change the name of roblox play beta if you have show file extensions on like i do here it's gonna show .exe at the end just ignore that don't change that at all and we just uh, rename it to euro trucks 2 and then you just double click on it to open it and then we can just hop into any game so for example we're gonna go inside of uh, murder mystery 2 i'd say it's better if you were to do all the first steps inside a private server but that's down to preference to be honest so yeah your game should end up still looking normal for right now but if you have done everything correctly you can just press alt z on your keyboard and then click game filter and then you should see this if you have followed the tutorial correctly and then you can just click on either of these what is my preset so yeah i'll show you how you can get really shiny and glossy shaders like i have here i'll show you my shader settings real quick so first vibrance you can pause if you want to uh, copy down my settings into yours to add uh, mine by the way you can just go on here add filter and then look for vibrance and then the rest and then mx80 here's my mx80 my clarity my brightness and contrast and my uh, SSR So yeah that's about it if everything has worked for you uh, please let me know down below in the comments or if you have any issues uh, feel free to comment as well i'll try and help out as much as i can anyways thanks for watching and goodbye